right? All in favor? Aye. If you read the, if you haven't read the minutes of the last meeting on February 28th, please take a second. Before the selectmen on March 5th, we presented our work on the wage and classification. We approved the job descriptions. We approved the grade um, identification of the non exempt positions. And they approved the pay scale, which included the um, minimum wage increases through 2023. So I just wanted to bring the committee up to date that that was in place. I mentioned to them that the exempt positions, although the job um, descriptions were accurate, the grades have not been determined, that the handout I provided them with um, had tentative grades but the evaluation was my evaluation of it. And I thought that the committee uh, needed more discussion as to, uh, and clarification as to exactly how we saw the job on um, grades. So that's where we are. Um, and you'll see later on on the agenda that I do have, of course, exempt positions and grade determinations. So we should have a discussion how we go about doing that, either having a subcommittee or the committee specifically meeting or doing it separate and sending them to the town administrator for um, coordination or whatever. So that's where we're at. I think collectively as a group, my opinion would be to do it independently, submit it, then if you want to commit a subcommittee to review it, you could do that and then feed it to, to Brian to take a look at it. Well, uh, that new business. Those, uh, your, since that has been approved by the Board of Selectmen, it goes into effect as of, I believe the last meeting when we were sitting here, we were saying it was going into effect as of the mm -hmm. payroll of Monday, this coming Monday or the previous one? Well, March, as soon as they show up. March. I would say as soon yeah. as they show up. Right. Well, there's two of them that have already been shown so up. They'll retro. So they'll be retro. Mm -hmm. Everybody else starts this coming Monday. Yep. Yeah. So. I was online perusing. I did come across the town of Braintree. There was one, one town that had a, um, a golf course and they had the department head um, proposed as a grade 17 5 and a pro was a 15 5. I mean, obviously, it's not apples to apples comparison, but a, it's a ballpark to get you it one, depends one on place. It's what rating system they use. Yeah, it depends on the system. So, I don't know how many grades they have. Some towns have more grades, this some towns have less. Have, this has got the pro with the six. Right, well, that, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not saying that this is what it should be. This is what you want to do is pull the wage and classification. One example. Schedule, so it mm -hmm. tells you what the pay scale is right. for that grade. Yeah. You might be quite surprised. Well, the other thing, too, is that some of those, some positions require different responsibilities of, of golf pros and, and professionals in but some instances. If you found that online, I'm sure we can find the job description, and I'm sure that we can sure. find the actual scale. Mm -hmm. And if we can't, I'll call Joe and I'll get it. I've also found a few other studies for uh, surrounding towns uh, that have been conducted. So it would give you a good ballpark figure for not just what we're going through, but the whole thing that is going on within the town. So a couple pieces of information. What are we suggesting though? We have a 
Os castes são desse dia entre elas, se eu não me engano, não sabe. A mim, não há muito número de números. Não, não há muito número de números. Because the number one priority, right? That's that's why I need you. Uh, that's you the article. We got to put the articles together. Right. So okay. So that needs to be done. Anything else we can we can deal with a future meeting if we have to. Okay. The question is, what do we want to spend on capital? Right now, we have just my summary. Um, our free cash account is roughly 436,000, up from 366,000 last year. And that 366 was free with 30,000 of our free cash as a reserve or FY18. We didn't use any of it. So that went back up to 396. Um, after the state did their math, we had 420, what did they say? 436. And 100 of it assigned to FY19. So, right. so if we don't use that, we actually have 526,000. And so then the question becomes, are there capital project items that we should draw money from that free cash to, um, to sup supplement our business, grow our business? Right. Um, and I put a couple suggestions together. Um, email one was we have a balloon payment of 77,000 for golf carts. We had a three year lease within 39,000 a year. Um, and because we were not able to do a five year lease, we had to do a three year with a balloon payment. So that balloon payment comes due at the same time as our last 39,000. There's no way we're going to have that. I had Keith come through our sales rep last week, and he said that um, he and his company would not be opposed to extending that to two additional payments outside of that. Um, when the time came, we would just have to have a sit down with him and extend that if we were interested in doing that. Yep. That's totally our. Um, I've, uh, discretion. So, but they're willing to work with us. They're not going to, you know, strong on us. Um, they've been a good customer. Back. They don't want the cards back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. so so good shape. Yeah. Yeah. Um, How long is the golf cart yeah. last? Well, all depends on yeah, the no, no, You know, about five years. Five most years. years. Most most programs are five year lease programs. Okay. Yeah, Some are dollar we, buyout. We, we turn ours back in for yeah. lease. He always says our carts are in better sure. condition than the other municipalities that he deals with. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what he, who he deals with, but he always says that he's very surprised that our cats come back in the condition that they come back. The goal is to make our cats less longer. Minor maintenance. Because you're going to get them for the old ones. Used to have yeah. 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 So you take the balloon thing. You're going to get them. The new ones are for fuel injected. There's nothing in the way with it. It is what it is. It's going to be two or three years. Is your contract dollar buyout? Is it? Probably yeah. assist us in so it's just a five year purchase plan. Yeah, right. I think it's a regulated mm -hmm. speed. So there's yeah. three years, three, there's three years of approximately 36,000, 39,000. 39, 397, yes. If you, if you do a balloon payment now, that frees up versus extending a lease, FY23 and FY24 of $39,000 worth of expenses. Except I'd really like to be putting that back in in anticipation of when we have to replace the carts. Yes. Okay. So in other words, I'd get rid of the financing simply because, you know, I don't like debt and, you know, mm -hmm. risk averse, but I would still sort of pay ourselves back with the idea that we'd be reserving. And of course, that, of course yeah, it I'm, would I'm, come I'm, with I'm, looking at, I'm looking at it the other way. 
in that in three years, if our revenue rounds don't go up and our revenue doesn't go up, right now we won't be able to afford thirty nine thousand. So um, those years that I mean there'll be no no increases, wage increases, there'll be no increases for pesticides or fertilizer, uh, no indirect costs, nothing. Um, so if we can get it off the books now, at least you're going to be able to flexibility kick the can down the road. Plus, for two not necessarily have to replace all of the golf carts. Yes. Well, you, have, you might want to think too. At some point, you'd have to replace the other antiques because right. there's no sense in having golf carts if you don't can't cut the grass. And those antiques. Are oh, wait, well, we're bringing them all. Back. I would think about the 14 no. used carts. <laughs> Well, I mean, still we also have 14 carts. The, the purchase was for 60. We have 74. Correct. And those are now going on eight years old. Yeah, those are. So, but they do demonstrate if I'm willing to bet if I parked an eight year old one next to the two year old one and let you drive it, you wouldn't You, you wouldn't know the difference driving wise. They look different, so you can tell that. Yeah, but so. You, I think that's fine to put that would be able to tell which one is which. Well, some people like to take the park and they say park on the park. It is a superstitious sport. Sometimes we'll go for the number. It makes sense. The number is I think it's a car. To do it? Yeah. You lose it. You don't have to worry about interest. I'm the opposite. I think you continue making the payments. It's an ongoing cost forever. And you just, you're always going to need cars. And I don't know. I keep it in your budget as a. Mm -hmm. Defer to you all and what well, you think. Well, you still keep it in the budget because you're paying yourself back as opposed to a finance. Yeah, you got to one way or the other. So it's my recommendation is how you decide how you want to sink the cost of the cards is not exactly how you're going to sink the debt. Okay, so you can unlink the two items. We got we. The question is, do you want to pay a finance company or you want to pay yourself? Mm -hmm. The but advantage is if you, dollars doesn't get spent on other things because you get a yes. The question. Six, you know, what Ed's saying is yes, I agree with you, but if I have to not pay myself back, it's better than not paying the finance company. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is we're going to pay. Paraphrase that sooner than later. Right. 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 You can do the blue. We've got to spend seventy-seven thousand in cash. We've got so many other things that need attention, and yet like you're always going to need cards. Would you want the seventy-seven to go towards them? You're going to get. Um, need a ten year return out of it as opposed to you know two years of time paying off you know golf cart leases and then you're gonna need it in that third year after that anyway. So what's, what's the implied interest rate on the lease do we have? I don't know. We're really talking. It does probably cheap. Yeah. But you know, let's get the original document and right. circulate it to the committee. Yeah. 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 You could probably follow that up. I'm sure we have a copy. Yeah, is there a five and a half now? I'm guessing. I'm, I'm just, I don't know what they could get away with, whatever they could get away with. I mean, they'll charge yeah. whatever they want. But especially with leases. But that is probably tricky. close to prime. This, I, yeah. with a lease, it could be prime anywhere. Two. It could be anywhere. I mean, it could be anywhere. But I would say as a municipality, it shouldn't be any higher than five or five six. Five. Especially three years ago, it should have been really cheap, but it's a lease, so they're going to charge you whatever they can get away with. Actually, it started in 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, rates were low. But I think, you know, again, too, yeah, um, not, to do business with them, they have to be a I had a calculator and this was a new one. Mm -hmm. So well, you, if you decide to keep your options open and you put it into the capital plan and then don't do it, it's your option. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. One, but at least, but I can't go If you don't do it, I can't call a special town meeting for that purpose. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So if you if you think Anybody you might want to keep your say, options open, yeah. put it in. Put it in, and then we, we can right. decide what direction to go. I'm fine with it. Put in for the seventy-seven thousand dollars to pay off the debt. I was in seventy-seven or seventy-nine. Is that the exact yeah, number? Seventy-seven in change. Okay, that's the golden band. It's under three. Man. Right. Bad. So it's cheap money. Okay. 
So what else would we like to put under the capital plan? Um, one was what we've been debating is a cover for the cart storage. And can we do the idea that was suggested at the last meeting where we build um, a structure that we can... A pavilion or whatever? Yes, and then you can use it for the food at the same time you can store the carts underneath it? Yeah, well, a pavilion will cost anywhere from, as I mentioned in the material I sent out, anywhere from forty to 70000 based on, first of all, you know, the materials. Um, second of all, if you do any phases of the installation yourself. Um, the higher end price, of course, is the price that I was quoted if you were to hire a company and say, okay, I want you to put up, for lack of a better word, a space building pop, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, and these, most of these companies, steel buildings, steel masters, um, Rhino and a couple of the other ones, they will give you the design, the spec. All you have to do is tell them the size of the building. And, you know, or the size of the, the cover, and they'll give you a set of specs and I mean basically putting in footings um, to support it, you, you know, you, you put the frame in the supporting, you put the frame, frame up and then there you go. Um, so it's, Steve, what's the, the dimensions? Is it 40, 40 by 60? Is that? Um, if you stretch it out to, um, it's, I believe it's, it's 40 by 70. 70. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. What, 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 what is that? Yeah, yeah, no. the, the poop that we have now there, Vince Tanner, what is the dimensions of that? That, I'm, I'm there. not sure what, what the dimensions Steve, what, what kind of flooring? Is it a cement floor or the one that floor? They're floor. talking about you could You tennis. could uh -huh. use the existing floor. I might think yeah. you might want to do something uh, different be because good. it's... Because you know what? The, the heat from that will cause all the moisture to come from the ground and it'll be just like putting things in a... In a, in a Rain yeah, you're going to have to. Um, you're going to need some kind of a flooring on the yeah. That drains? Huh? That drains the. Either that or have very good uh, uh, air circulation. Well, this pavilion is going to have sides to it. No, it's not. Because earlier there's just oh, yeah, well, a roof with columns, right? Right. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, I'm going to think of a pavilion. Yeah, but what is that? How is that going to protect us when that snow is blowing? And it's going to go right underneath it. And then you put up the side barriers in plastic around it. You could buy, yeah, buy it, but a lot of people just. We have, we I have, have I have an experience do. with one in the back of my house that I have. We have, we have inside. The, the manufacturer one that you go right over the whole thing with it. And last winter, the whole thing ripped the, oh, yeah. the pieces. We have the sides from the previous tent that we could come up with a means by which to mount them um, by our, I don't think it would be a difficult thing to do. How would what's the size of our tent now? Size of If the you tent have the now, sides for the tent or with the, have the, the sides for the tent. So those sides would be to enclose the left portion, the back portion. You could enclose almost the entire thing with the sides for the tent. Um, I'm not sure I, I haven't I haven't unfolded them so I don't know where an opening is in them, but I have them up in my building on the shelf. What is the size? How many cars can we put inside underneath that tent? You can probably fit all the cars. You can fit all the cars. And you get the size. Underneath the tent. Yeah. Yeah, what we need the size. Excuse me? I mean, you have a tent now. Yeah, but you can't leave the tent. You can't leave the tent out of the With the snow and wind. With the snow and that. Shred that tent. Yeah, it's not in. The tent that we have now is not in good shape anyway. And you couldn't leave the tent up over the So it's. There's two purposes. We've replaced the tent with a permanent structure. But think of it just like the tent we have now. It's just a roof with poles. Okay. So then he's proposing to take the sides, apparently we've never used, mm -hmm. Brand and repurpose them to use them as sides. And even though they're made of plastic, the last two, three years. You use it as a dual purpose. Correct. For, for, correct. for the cards and wind type. Off season to the cards oh, okay. and, and for right. food service in the. Yeah. Yeah. Then you would want the permanent size to. Yeah, right. size. Sorry. That makes sense? No, it makes a little bit sense. Okay. And how much is that? You're, you're anywhere, again, you're anywhere from forty to 70000 depending on the materials that you, you know, the size that you purchase of the materials. Um, you know, then basically what you do now with the advent of our, you know, your wonderful internet is that you 
you basically contact these companies. They have particular sizes. They they have sizes that are in kits. I mean, they they sell them like it's you know it's, uh, an entire kit, plan, specifications, everything. Or you can have them go to a size which you prefer or would like to have. Then you may incur some somewhat of an additional cost for them to construct them. Uh, but uh, it's Use not tech school. That is significant. Yeah. yeah. Well, you could ask them if they would be, but you would need to get, you need to have a crane uh, at some point to, to put it up. Sorry. Well, it kills two birds with one stone. Yes, it does. The carts are currently stored outside. Yes. And we've talked to, it's a significant investment sitting outside. Right. right. Yeah. And we've always turned it back. When done. Right. Yeah. We've uh, inquired about having the vendor store them and uh, I asked him what his process was for storing them you know as we ship them back to the place we leave them in a parking lot all winter and then we bring them back. Bring them back to you. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, we're all set with that program. And I guess my question is if, if for the last 20 years we've been leasing carts for five years and then turning them over, the sooner or later they wear out. Does the court storage area actually extend the life significantly? Well, this is where we have to replace this. The, since the next thing they're going to ask about is a new tent. And I yeah. could kill two birds with one stone. Yeah. Even if they extend the life of the carts by a year, it's still a win. Well, I don't, to, be, to answer, to answer this question, question, I don't think crane that would make a significant difference in the quality okay. of the carts if we would turn them in after five years. I don't, I mean, in proof is as... Well, as but our goal is not to turn them in five years. Our goal is them. not to. Yeah, but him and keep them... Is it six years of payment? Six years? years. Six That's years. Right. I, I, I'd say if you're going seven, eight years, maybe. But you do yeah, have... Maybe. The thing that is, the thing that's the most detrimental to be sitting outside is the seat. Right. Not only the seat, the, the plastic, you don't polish it, the seat, it, it goes dull. Well, you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, but that's, that's, not, that's not necessarily due to the winter. That's, that's more sun. due to sitting out in sun, the sun. sun. And yeah. you really, it's not so much, you can't polish it per se, right, because you have, to, you have to kind of soft sand it to take the stain out. And then once you soft sand it, you put some type of clear coat over it. Then that would seal in. But that's how we do it. Say like for quite a while, if we did that at least once a year. Well, you know? well if you keep, if you, I mean, that's something you do every every three or four. You only do that once every year. Um, we don't do it at all. Well, we never sand and clear coated carts. It didn't make didn't make much sense. We rain the seats, sense. and so the moisture would not. Um, it wouldn't freeze on them, or uh, if it rained, it would be easy to get the water out. But I mean, there's only so much you can do for an outdoor product to protect it. So would would the, if so, if the sun does a lot of damage, what's the good of having them then backed on the side during the, the busy season? We're not having the tent, you're going to put the tables underneath the tent, right? Correct. So, outside in the, in so the if we wait out here in one of the biggest buildings here in uh, uh, making them look old is the, the, the sun. Making them. Is using them. In music. On, a, on a golf course. If you built a golf right. right. club, how big would that be? Well, we big enough that then we can have the cats and the And, and then uh, we'll go around and look at some. Pretty nice ones would not be that big, but fix all the cats underneath. And the cats are going underneath. And, 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 and is that, and on, the, is that on the horizon? If, if we'd like to, if it was once we could have gone in. You can find some around. The idea of 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 the if the act comes along, then it wipes everything we have. We discussed uh, possibly um, maybe that's what we should the foundation and capping it, the club and using that as a garage for the cops. But it costs money. Yeah. What's the debt paid on it? Of course, we're on uh, the ten years now. Twenty-seven. 
2027, mm -hmm. which is like right around the corner. It is right around the corner. 2027 is a very significant year for this town. Is it real? That's the year that our Bristol County debt is paid off. Okay. So it'll be a. But I'm just, if you know, you got a good year for that year. You got a. Well, what's, this, what's the number for the 40 to 70? And if you just, you know, wait a little bit, that 40 to 70 could build your clubhouse with the cart. If the cart storage is going under the clubhouse anyway, if you just wait. As long as we don't have to replace the tent. Well, you're going to have to, the tent. The tension might have to. The, the tent, you have some issues with securing it now because some of the strapping, which is used, the tent has a frame. And when the tent is put up, the strapping is used to wrap around the frame to secure the tent to the frame. A lot of those strappings are ripped out of the existing tent. We own the tent? We own the tent. Yes. It's about 8,000. Eight I was going to say something. It, it, there's no, there's no way that we can attach them and have somebody sew it come or get a tent repair? You'd have to give it to the folks who make the tents to yeah. repair it. There's nothing that we could do to well, sell could it. We, could we find out what that would cost that we could do that? And sure. that will secure the tent to last a few more years? The other thing we can do is sale makers can make a try. Yeah. I'm yeah. on that. Yeah. Well, there's plenty right. of sales. I'm used to be a guy in Fajero, but I don't know if you went out of business. Or great, great man of poison. They, okay. they make them. They put them up for weddings. Yeah, he can make it. They, they offer to storm them and clean them in the winter, but Chase Cabin. Uh, yeah. Chase Cabin? Yeah. Yeah, they do a good job. Maybe we should check with them. Well, there's the, see, those are the folks we use to put it out. So. Right. So are we suggesting that we forego this potential cost and have maybe one more five-year lease of cart turnover, and then we're, our debt's gone? Well, I would be yeah, I would. I would not. I was gonna say I would suggest you know looking into the tent. If we can't fix the tent, getting a new tent and doing what Ed just said. You know, go more four more five more years. Sure, you're ready to tent and your leases. Well, uh, yeah, well, the yeah. You sure the tent is? It's one hundred percent that it can't. It can't. Go I'm not sure. I'm just saying that. Well, you know, I think they have to look at it because yeah, so we have you know we know we have an outing in the three weeks and they come and they say, oh wow, we can't put the tent up. Right. We don't want to be there. You don't want to be there. So no pavilion. Three. This year wasn't. But I was tent. The tent was the last one. It was the show material they gave us. The tent's not optional. It feels like the cart structure might be. Yes. The, the tent's tent not is not optional. You've got to have the hundred thousand. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to have the like, tent. So I'll call in the suite. You, you take it out. I'll have them come down and take it out. I got it. Yeah, I got it out. So, and, we can, when they, so what else? Just let me know when we're going to come. Uh, and we can yeah. put it out on the road. Right. Uh, we we'll beat that one to death. Let's go on. And the other, the other two suggestions I have have to do with um, enhancing our ability to increase our revenue. One was um, cart path work on 12, 13, 14, which would complete the back nine and allow us to put carts out and generate revenue on the rounds. Um, when the ground is soft. So yeah, that's all. And if, if uh, the cost was too tight, you could even probably forego 14 because that's high ground and that stays dry. 12 and 13 is definitely how much we need. Well, um, Steve had given an estimate of the full <coughs> nine yards. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have, you have 12, 13, 14, and 15. You've got measured distances of 1,300 uh, linear feet for 12, 825 linear feet for 13. 1,350 on 14, and then 15 is 650, but that was that was a major concern. So your total now, is. But what you're talking, well, your your total's done. You, you take your your linear feet, multiply it by your width, which is eight feet, come up to your square foot total, and then cart path work, which would involve excavation, moving in the material that you're excavating, placing down a six. Um, a four to six inch base which has to be compacted and then putting 2.5 to 3 inches of asphalt on top of that. The numbers that I got is going to, it's approximately seven dollars a square foot. So if you look at number 12 for instance you have 10,400 square feet that's going to be a $72,800 cart path. Super nuts. Wow, just for one? 
just yeah. for one. Yeah. No, it's not well, one way to do to, we could do is if, uh, our friends at the bottom of the road. I'm sure, I'm sure I, 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 they could cut it. I can tell you right now that if you're going to hire someone to put down asphalt and you have someone else put down the base, the asphalt guy is going to say forget it because he didn't put down the base, so he can't guarantee yeah, yeah, yeah. the impact of that base yeah, on his yeah. asphalt. Yeah. So he must have done that with the, council, uh, the housing authority. So we didn't spend it anywhere near. I think we did the whole housing authority for about 20. So. Well, the other, the other option is to, in my estimation, because we can't afford the full 72,000 for a month, is to cut out the paths and put some type of stone, stone dust, or whatever, down so that they become functional. And functional in that we can keep the carts off the fairway and allow the carts out and generate revenue. I want that recycled, recycled stuff. Well, whatever. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah. Recycled yeah. asphalt is hazardous waste, and you put it out in the middle of the golf course, and it's going to go all over the place. Okay. I would think that you would be better served if you're going to do something like that to put a a standard base that you can compact. But any material that's not a solid surface is going to have to be graded and you're going to have to buy additional material to put it out there and it's going to rut and it's going to get soft. Especially in the rain and stuff. And the edges are going to go south right. and you're going to have to it's excavate wide. it and do it again, uh, excavation wise, do it again to to improve the... Uh, but the time frame you're looking at. That's why we have a maintenance department. Well, in your time, your time frame, this isn't forever, this is for a certain... 2027. This is 2027. We got to get. Yep. We got to get revenue, rounds and revenue up. I'm just saying. Yeah. We can't afford 250,000. Correct. It would take the free cash down to zero. For car I mean, pass, we'll never get the revenue. And I understand everything you're saying. But I'm just, I'm just introducing the additional cost, and you're going to have to get something to grade it because we ain't got nothing to grade it. Right. But I mean, there's not there going to be a that's where the DPW could come I mean, down and just. I did yeah, that. We continue to say the DPW, but the DPW is very busy. And I made, yeah, I made a call to ask what a recommended asphalt base is. I can't even get a call back. And forward, and they put forward to this part. That's, 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 that's probably because of your experience, past experience. Let's go backwards. What's, what's my so past experience with him? Not good. good. What, with Dan? Yeah. Why, why is my past experience with Dan not good? good. Well, could you explain that then? Uh, no need to. Um, let's talk about a dollar number. Okay? So we'll call it cart maintenance or cart path maintenance work. And we'll put a number in and let me see what we can do with the number you give me. Yeah. I, would, I would put 50,000 is what I thought. Okay, so that yeah, means we'll do it. It, just it means, means that we reserve a sum of money. Let's see, if we can come up with a plan um, to see what we can do with the money that we do have. Yeah. Do you have any idea how many people we you know, don't know? We don't know. I mean, do we know what we think we're losing out on by the days when it's wet and we say, you know, no carts in the back nines and we just think people aren't showing up all together? And, well, that all depends on the season. Like, we got hit really hard last fall. Um, so This was the rainiest year yeah, from September and, through and November. I got from, um, from golf now, it was at 13%. Playable days was down 13% last season. That's what golf now gave for stats in this area. So, and that, most of that was in the fall. And, and actually probably also in the spring. Because we had the snowstorm, <laughs> we were supposed to open in my spring. We didn't open until like what, early April. So thirteen percent of March was gone. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Maybe we lost five hundred rounds due to when? Possibly due to, due to the back side being soft. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just yeah. It's a guess. It's a guess. There's no. no I, I wouldn't think any more than that. No. So, but, but it comes it, down to it. Didn't we put? Very can I spend and the, what can I do? You know, mm -hmm. to keep, on, to keep that tire for you. Off the fairway. Right. Yeah. Oh, 16. We put them on 16. Yeah. But yeah. 16. I mean, that, that helps. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, we could, you could try, I mean, you could try to keep them. You know, the issue is keeping them off the fairway. Unfortunately, you could keep them off the fairway in the 12th hole. 
without too much trouble. But right. 13, 13, it goes down, and it's just a big, a huge in the wet spot down sure. there. Right. No place yeah, out of 13, you've got to go through the wet area. Yeah. yeah, and the only thing you could do is you couldn't, you couldn't rope them off so they go right against the, could, the yeah. tall grass, and then, you know, and that's a good, eventually they'll get stuck. That's that's yes. It might work, but, but you know, then, you know, Well, maybe there. we could create something over there as a that's temporary gravel. I, I remember years ago they kind of down. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. we can see this in the middle of the wet days. Roped off areas. Roped off to keep them uh, up here. Push but the, but the, the play on 12 foot. But you didn't take it. They drive over them. 13 foot. Sometimes you have to do it with a leftover for a small job. If he does a road and it's leftover pavement, let us send it back to the plant and send it over here. When did that cop answer that? Um, we put it out to bid uh, a while ago, and I think m &R Asphalt Paving out of uh, Dighton did... Um, In some places you work. didn't get no three inches. Huh? Well, no. You got three no, inches from him. The three inches know, that you didn't get was, was prior to then. Was prior to them? Yes. When, um, and that was it, it's your original construction. Um, as you can see I'm where... Gone. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can see where your car passed. Yeah, were, I can see some of it. Yeah, just a, a little one and a half inch crumb. Yeah, and the other thing you didn't get the you didn't get the bait. Well, you can tell most of the time by the difference in size of the. But see how many years we got that? We got that golf course now in twenty years, right? Mm -hmm. Even a one inch compact and probably the base was not very good, and we get twenty years out of it. So why do we have to go through all? The eight inches and well, I'm just explain, I'm just explaining the way to you the way that contractors installing cart pass on golf courses approach the job. That's uh, they they figure it out, soup to nuts, and they give you a per square foot price. And the reason that I was told this right now that the per square foot price is so much higher than what it normally is is because of the cost the cost of the asphalt. Now and these these are the for local contractors or this is. Just out of the these are local these are suggestions local, from the no, golf digest or whatever. No, no, no. These are this is information from local contractors who do golf course cart path work, and, and, and it's going to be worse if you put an RRP up. Yeah, because it's going to be. That's the other thing you have to think about too. Is these guys are thinking about prevailing wage. Right. So what I'm saying is, if we can get someone, you know, if we can get help. Um, or um, an opportunity for our um, DPW to do something like that, that's all well and good. We just have to, you know, we have to schedule something around the time that he's not significantly busy. And as Brian alluded to, if there is an opportunity for a project coming up where there might be a, some leftover or something, then if you have a particular area prepped, and you know you're going to get something down on it in a short period of time, then it won't decay and go bad and you won't have a problem with it. If you prep an area and sits there for three years, then it's not going to be the same as it was when you originally prepped it. But that's the kind of suggestion that we're looking for. Prep some area, get it ready, and when we have it, we lay it So like if, Brian, if there's a project coming up, and say, okay, well, get, we something ready. get something ready, and then, you know, um, it could be involved in that project. Okay, what else? What else we got? The last one I had was um, construction of new forward tees. Um, my thought process there was again to generate more rounds and revenue um, as the golf um, architect who toured the area, our golf course, said we have some golf courses that are just too long for beginners. Number one, groups of growing golfers or Juniors, women, and baby boomers. And all of those need forward tees in front of where we are. Um, the, we can produce, if you go to um, Tee It Forward, PGA initiative, for a golfer that hits the drive 150 to 175 yards, your total distance should be about 4,400 yards. Our forward tees are 51. So you've got people playing holes that are just too, too, too much. Sounds good. Um, the golf architect, again, thought most of the golf tees could be placed in our low-cut fairways 
but there are two of them, number 16 and number 4, that would require building of T's. So I'm suggesting that we put in estimated 4 and 16. Number, hole number 4 and hole number 16, both of those, to move the T forward, you'd still be in the, in the rough area. So again, you need to create a T, build a T. Physically make them happen. Physically, because thousand, you can't get close enough. Thousand square feet. Um, well, I'd make it more than a thousand because it's yeah, well, what, what that's not much bigger than the table. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, what about nine? Um, well, again, that can be placed in the fairway now with the low cut. Okay. So uh, you, we may, if we don't have flat areas, you can either start in the fairway, um, but the preferred solution would be to make sure you have a nice flat. Yeah, we can find you. We can find with flat the, areas with where we could put a um, put a. Uh, a particularly colored marker, whatever we want, color we want to come up with, um, and you can put that, set that into the fairway, and that's where the short, uh, I don't know if you want to call it short course, but that's where people would tee off of for that yard. I mean, I'm not only every golf course that has the, the back, the, the middle, and then there's the forward tees, which would be probably what you have now for the ladies' tees. And they no longer you can call them ladies' tees, you have to call them family yeah, so tees, family tees, or whatever they are. Yeah. And uh, then create another color other than red for, yeah. for the front end there, yeah, and that usually is what the ladies play. Okay, well, it, it, it depends on it depends on your course. Like I said, I mean some some um, we went to green because we had already used yellow. Some tees go to yellow as Ed alluded to, and then they use their distance tees as black. The furthest ones, you know, the, the what we call gold tees. So so uh, Manjum suggested that building a tee would probably be the four to five thousand dollar um, range. So two ten thousand plus ten thousand. Um, yeah. So what if we twenty? Cover yeah. ourselves with twenty. Okay. And that would do. If we have to do it. So you're looking at building four and sixteen. Definitely no, four and four sixteen. 16. Yeah. I right. think we need further discussion about where we should place those tees. And color tees and scorecards. Yeah, because you can't change the colors without changing the scorecard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can but at least. I can mean, that would be my suggestion. Funds for it. So we get 15, we get 40. What about the idea that we had before about the, not to go back to the golf cards, but we had that it's idea. 20, is it? You said 20,000? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. To look into the, the ones that we have with the plastic. To, to, to really save them until we get everything else planned out. What's that? What you know, you know, the huts or whatever you want to call them, but the ones that they do. Uh, like they do with boats. Oh well, you see on the, on the flower shops, so on and there they have like greenhouses. Like greenhouse. Oh, they have a greenhouse effect that you get. You buy the ribs and then you put two layers of plastic, and you can put them all underneath there. What the cats? Yeah, I don't know if you fit them all underneath there, but I mean, it's, it's almost easy. I mean, you could actually, if you wanted to, go to the expense, of it, which would almost be the same as that expense, buying an individual cover for each one, and at the end of the season, put the individual covers on. They sell individual covers How anywhere much? from seventy-five or sixty-five to one hundred and thirty something, somewhere in that ballpark. I was selling that Amazon down to fifty. And You'd have to get a couple of CO. We can't buy them. I shrink wrapped them two oh, thirds of the feet and just went to for about a hundred bucks. Okay. Yes, we can. Yeah, sure. <laughs> because you can if buy them. If I line them up properly, because they want, I have to go in and finagle it. You need to you know, be rolling. That's what we're rolling. If I line them up properly, I can go down and see them on the floor. And there you go. There's a lot of snow on the seat. Cracks and hands. Fifty bucks. We didn't have much snow bars. I went the day of snow. That was pretty good. Yeah. It's dirt. It's dirt. I had a tough time getting it off. We had to get a couple of most of them. They had to get a couple 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 of them. So that the whole load don't move. That's the whole load. I don't know if Club Car has a record of this. Oh, yeah. They probably sold one. That's the way to go. I'm sure it says Club Car. They can sell it to the thousand. No. I don't care what it's going to be in the winter. <laughs> yeah. It's on the budget. So, All right, so this, this okay. will even protect you in the summer from the yeah. summer. So we yeah. had oh, 78,000 for balloon. 
payment. Seventy-eight thousand balloon. Fifty for card. Card. Path work. And twenty-four tees. Perfect. What else? That's, oh, we have had two suggestions that we. That's one hundred fifty thousand of our four hundred twenty-six reserve. Right. Plus a hundred potentially, right? Potentially. Well, you're going to always head back down. Okay, it's always um, 78 for the balloon. 50. But you see, this is most the important. Stop. Stop. Just because we put this number in the body number by Tom Meaning oh, doesn't mean they have to do it. No, no, no they just be there. So, yeah. so yeah. one of the things yeah. I want to be concerned Project. about is that we don't send the wrong message when we ask for the approval of the article. So that we want to say this is an authorization to spend on these ones if we decide that this is a project. Correct. Yeah, and I think one of the downsides, one of the downsides of this is that it, the when we go forward with them meeting articles, it's always inevitably that's what we're going to do. In this particular case, this is what we may do. This is what we're going to do. We have the fund. Correct. So I want to be careful how we explain that. Oh, it needs to be explained. So people right. assume if you're proving the article is going to happen. Right. So we, we have no interest in doing additional buckle work. Yeah. This way. Back. Yeah, we should. Would that be something that we should include, or would that be something that we should? Uh, what do you mean by bunker work? You make the bunker the 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 work yeah. re redo the bunkers on the right side, or redo the bunker on the left side, of the fourteen three, or around. What was the other ones we were talking about? The left hand side, of the second three. Yeah, we 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 would like to continue doing that as ourselves. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we so what what um. What do we need to appropriate for them? Well, I would think that we could follow the same the same process that, that we did last year. That we did last year. Um, I mean, you would you're probably be looking somewhere year? between eight to ten thousand dollars a bunker, depending on its size. So if you do if you were to do the two on the tenth hole, you'd be approximately you know twenty thousand dollars if you're doing. But but being doing it with Sandal doing with this new project. Well, that's what that price includes is the machine work. Um, this you know the new sand, um, topsoil where needed, sod um, drainage, and, and the liner, the capillary concrete. So it, it, it's a price inclusive. And if you go back and look at the what we paid last year, you can see all those things listed there. I have questions about that that cement, that uh, concrete. Do you think that is the way to go? To me, it's a very expensive way to go. It's and expensive. We can do it I mean, that and I mean, we don't have uh, a course here that is um, that uh, they're going to have a uh, uh, big. Uh, oh, what can I call it? A big uh, pros now. The PJ course not coming next right. week. Right. Mm -hmm. But um, the so reason we, we went for the capillary, capillary that is nice, but capillary concrete is your best option, and there are there are a couple of other materials out that are similarly expensive. But it's your best option if you want to have the flashed face, the higher sand face, to hold the sand on the face. And you could ride by that bunker now. We're, we started working on the bunkers uh, today. You could ride by that bunker now, and it's been there since November, and there isn't any sand moved except for where people walked up the face again. So if you want to have a flashed face, yes, it's the best thing to use. If you don't want to have a flat flash face, if you're just simply using a flat bottom bunker, then you can use a different type of material, which would be somewhat less expensive. But yeah, 18, I mean, you're done. You're done. That was a really extreme. That was a tough one. Yeah. yeah, that was a really extreme, but I think we have others that they not need that type. Okay. Yeah, if they're flat and you don't want to use it. I mean, mean, we can put some contour to it a little bit, but I mean, not in its extreme. You don't have the, that flash, flash of a face. I mean, the, 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 if you want to keep I mean, the character of the bunker on the front left hand, right hand, right hand side of the 10 3, <clears> then I would suggest that you use the capillary concrete. Um, if you don't want to keep that face up like that, if you want to pull it down and make it flatter, depending on how flat we make it, then yeah. You I don't know, we have all the rest of the community of the Fort Boys that are thinking. My opinion would be at this time that we keep edging it, <clears throat> we keep replacing the faces as, as good as we can do it and make them presentable. And that's the way we should be going, not to rebuild it to that extent. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, to Steve's point, I would, on 10, that front bunker. You've done that one a number of times, too. Yeah. Well, we've done, we yeah, only done, we only done it twice. We yeah. did it, you know, we did it uh, several years ago. Yeah. And we just, then, well, then we just, mm -hmm. then we just trimmed it. 
It wasn't that we didn't do the whole. We didn't do the whole no. thing. Oh, they Absolutely just, not. But but that would be one that would lend itself to being similar to eighteen. The one in front of the My only concern is my concern is that capillary concrete in the winter um, freezing thawing freezing thawing how long is it going to last? Um, they didn't uh, because it's porous. Um, I asked that same question. Um, and I can get you the specifics from the folks at Capillary Concrete, but uh, they assured me that, that that wouldn't be an issue. There, several, there are several courses um, throughout New England that do use it. That's what I'd like to see if the ones you know, five years on or whatever. From, um, but I'm, I mean, I'm it, not against putting 10,000 in for that. Um, on number 10, all the other ones, though, most of them are just Rebuilding the, redoing the face with saw, which is what we've been trying to get. Cut it out and re saw them. And plus, we've got like the second bunker on 10. Um, the architect is suggesting that we could do away with that bunker. So, we've got more discussion about the, oh, the back, bunker the elimination. Second by the green pit. Um, Does and, it? and the potential cost savings. Associated with eliminating white bunkers. Um, I'm still, I'm still hung up on the, uh, the balloon payment. I'm trying not to back up to that. <laughs> so after we make oh, this, year's, put it in. But after you make this year's payment, the outstanding balance, we want to call it that, on the whole thing is roughly one hundred twenty thousand dollars. If we have after July one, the approval to a five-year contract, why wouldn't we then say redo the lease, get rid of the balloon payment, a five-year lease on our own equipment? On only 120,000 outstanding, kind of bring it down to 25 grand a year. We're paying 39. There's a 14,000 dollar year savings in the budget, and 77 you're not laying out, and we could do eight to ten more bunkers. You can't get the golf carts out for seven years, and we own the golf carts. But I mean, yes, we still ours. We got them brand new. We've had other ones for five years that were already two years right. old when we got them. Yeah. So well, the, yeah. instead of the balloon, you kick so it off the lease another, another, another rather than two years. Instead of paying 39, we're paying 24, you got 15,000. If they'll live that, if they'll live that long. This is why we jumped on the option to have brand new cots at the same rate of what we're paying for used cots. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the other cars that we yeah. got in the past, they weren't new cars. They were old cars, right. right. two years old. So we actually had them for seven. I don't disagree with you. Okay. Um, it's not like that we if they'll live that long, it's not a bad plan. Mm -hmm. we could be, yeah, Mechanically, you don't, you don't want to pay for things that are running anymore. No, oh, no, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just given our history, like I said, in the past, we had a five year lease on two year old carts that we got from somebody else anyway. I mean, those essentially. One year old. I thought we had two year old carts mm -hmm. once. Well, mm -hmm. okay. No, but I like your thing. I really do like the idea. If we, if we really didn't want them to go beyond, say, six, you know, if we thought seven was a stretch, we, I mean, I get your payment down, down you spread the cost. I sort of like that. I mean, we're going to have the payment anyway. We might, and, and we've agreed that we're going to have the payment. Mm -hmm. So spread it out a little further and make it a little easier. I think they put the 77. So why don't we get itself. Club Card mm -hmm. down here, minus. take a look at it. I want to include David in that meeting mm -hmm. with, uh, and I wouldn't do anything but without it. Same token is if you, if you pay it off, and we have a $39,000 payment that's no longer there, mm -hmm. you can do the same thing. I guess it depends on the timing. I mean, do we want to do 39000 worth of, say, repairs two years in a row? Or do we want to do something? If, we, if we, do our, we, we do our budget, and the bottom line says we've got a rent, rent, revenue projection and expense projection, the difference we always put into capital. So if it's if it's thirty nine or if it's fourteen or whatever, but that's that's what you're in the I like spreading the cost of the cards over their life. I like um, I, it's this you know, I think you end yeah. up in the same place, but I think yeah. bank is always like their interest. It's how no, it's, but it's three percent. It's, it's cheap. It's how often how much you cut the state. Right. Yeah. 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 It's a science. It's but it probably change the percentage if you don't expand it. Yeah, I pray. Maybe it probably won't but be. But you want to know something? Okay. Well, maybe what the rates would be based upon the length of the yeah. the, the agreement, mm -hmm. and and the, I think the other side of that coin is the one. But I I like the idea of if we're going to keep the cards anyway, 
spread the payment over what we think is the true useful life of the cart, mm -hmm. which I think is a legitimate thing. That answers Ed's concern about our operating expenses. That solves David's concerns about how we are paying for things and how we are budgeting for things and getting the best deal we can. And you know what? I like the idea of taking the five-year lease out for a drive. So, well, the you know. The article says you know, capital improvements, including but not limited to or whatever language is really acceptable to be, you know, bond or repair, car, car pass, whatever you want to do with this. Unit. I'm not sure how specific they're going to want it to be, but it's open-ended enough. No, but I sort of like the idea of keeping it what not, but specifically but not limited to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure you understand the true cost of the lease because they sneak things by in leases. Mm -hmm. You know, especially well, for older carts like that, they may try to get well. To be honest, what we'd have thirteen in our committee and then the board. Well, that's what you're going to watch. Yeah, that's leases. What I have them they, they sneak stuff by you in leases. Yeah. So what I would do is I would I think I like where you're going with the article specifically, but not limited to the following things and then a dollar amount rather than list out this, 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 and this. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then you decide later what you're going to correct and prioritize. Right. So instead of saying fifty for this, thirty for that, right? And just making it up. Say a hundred thousand for blah 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 blah. Say not here. We're over a hundred thousand. Yeah. Exactly. But instead of but instead of listing okay. the amount, three hundred and fifty. And that you know, if we get write it that way, and the board of selectmen can approve it at that, and I honestly think they, so they probably put will. The you can do anything. In that too? Yeah. I mean, and then, and then you just specifically, but not limited to, yeah. gives you the option to decide what you want to do later, okay. up to 150,000. And one of the concerns I have is the same concern you have. That's how. That's that's it forever. So we have to be real careful how we spend this. You can only spend it once, and then it's gone. The 436 is. Yeah. yeah. And now, admittedly, by the way, you've got the 100,000. So you could decide. That you want to do these projects, but take them out of the hundred thousand. Yep. You know, and then what you could do is the concern that I would have is at the end of the year, if you had a surprise, you've used that, then you could use the authorization for the hundred and fifty. Yep. Well, we can see how much Steve's going to do on meat, uh, maintenance of our mowers and the pesticide and fertilizer right. that we right. hope we'll spend. Hopefully, we'll stay within that for the. Or 65. Or well, I've, I've, I've done that and, 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 and we've done that, and I'm pretty comfortable where I'm going to end up. Good. The problem that we have is that every time I put something up on, on the rack and I'm fixing one thing, I take it apart and I find something else leaking or something else broken. This is. No, we have to pick it up. You, you see, I'm gonna, I got a new pair of overalls down there. I'm going I'm I'm to I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you that overalls and we'll bring you down there and show you it because it's. I'd be really bad. I didn't say you were going to work. I was just going to say you were going to work. That'd be more effective working for Manny. That's a good idea. I can wash the dish. I need to do today. We, so we're going to put 100. We did the mayor's job this morning. So we're going to put 150 in there. 180. Wow. Sir, we're going to put 150. 150 in, in an article that's worded as David suggested specifically, but not limited to. Do we need a motion on that? Want to make a motion? Yeah. I'll make a motion that we submit an article for 150 thousand dollars from the capital investment. Do we have a second? I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. We all settled that. Now we go to new business. Green fees for the season of 2019. Ed has some suggestions, eh? I have suggestions. No, I've never had a suggestion. I've never had a suggestion. <laughs> never, ever, ever. ever. Dan, you had some suggestions. Um, I, do, I do. Let me first. Yeah, go ahead. Let me first show you my analysis of the last. And I didn't. Yeah, I didn't reproduce that document. Of the last two years, he's been sleeping. Uh, 
I keep, I keep giving away. I keep. I, I'm, I'm, I compared the twelve seasons because, because the top 2018 season yeah. we implemented a basically a one dollar increase across the board in uh, green schools. Which which season was that? You said 2018 last okay. year. When did that happen? For the full year? For the full year, yeah. We, it was like the April meeting, selectments meeting. So we came out with um, total rounds of 29,563, which was down from the year before, 31,463. And total revenue, 1419 uh, versus the year before, 1433, which would lead you to some issues or concerns in weather or yes. price well, or whatever. I stated, let me, sh let me show you my analysis pulling out the month, months, the shoulder months, which are very much weather dependent, which is April, October, in November, and it turned out that 2018 season we got off to a late start. Yes. The snow in April, October, no November were kind of cold. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you've got basically the golf seasons when people yeah. come out. Yep. May so you didn't September. Lose anything because of the black. And yeah. we got 24,580 in rounds. Uh, in 18 and 24,599 in 17, and we picked up 40,000 in revenue, which was basically that increase. Um, so at one time, I was first looking at the numbers saying, don't do it, don't do it. And now I'm looking at it, and I know I had a conversation uh, with our chairman a couple of days ago, and he said, when I was putting together the agenda, so we ought to bump uh, another increase across the board. And now I'm looking at it and I'm saying, probably we could do it. All right, so at the last meeting, my suggestion, I think, was that we didn't go through a full throttle because the previous season, we sat down and we did a dollar on the cot, a dollar on the round, a dollar on the weekday, a dollar on the twilight. $5 on the outings because we had decreased that price by so much previously. Obviously, we retained all of that play because that's what Ed just presented. If we were based on our past practices and what our customers kind of anticipate, and because they're very aware of what we're doing for pricing, I mean, you can imagine um, that we don't typically go back to back years. And we kind of stated last year when we got new cots. We get, um, minimum wage went up, so we're making our move. We have to stay uh, profitable. Um, this year, you could probably go along the lines with minimum wage went up. Yep. And but I wouldn't hit. I, I my my suggestion is I wouldn't hit the outings again because we hit them hard last year. I said I think you could probably get away with a, a weekday dollar, a weekend dollar, and maybe a twilight dollar on those three mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. which are your highest volume um, fees. And then pretty much, I'd leave the pass holders there, because anybody that's getting a pass, has, they, 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 they're they running their numbers based on volume, and they don't want to get hit again, because we already hit them. Actually, we ended up being two bucks, I think, last year, because that's what we hit that package with, it was $2 per round, because they paid $1 for the walk and one for the ride, and they all went up two bucks. Um, so let me just make sure that I'm following along. Dollar weekend, dollar weekday, yep. and dollar twilight. Right. No cot no fee, no no, hiring, fee. no nothing, no junior rate increase, no nine hole rate increase, just on your eighteen hole round, your 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 money rounds where the guys come in and play. So you mean the nine league. holes, it means you're not gonna hit the leagues, right? Nope, leave the leagues as is. Yeah, because we it's only nine holes. holes. It's not yeah. fair. If we raise him for well, uh, playing eighteen for a dollar and you only come in and play nine after work. I'm hitting him for the same price that I'm hitting him for, 
and he's only playing nine holes. So I would say give that one a breathing space. <clears throat> and actually, we've got some increase in players, uh, rosters for our leagues. Um, so I would kind of I, I would play it, play it, let it breathe a bit, and leave, leave your customers feeling good about the place. Like, all right, they're minimizing the impact of increasing round uh, rates, and they're just trying to stay true to compete with the, the minimum wage increase. Yeah, what do we charge like, uh, Thursday afternoon at two o'clock, eighteen holes. Uh, Twilight weekdays starts at uh, noon time, thirty nine dollars. Okay, so you go to before that, forty nine dollars. Okay, so so two o'clock is Twilight. 12 o'clock is twilight, weekday, yeah. weekends it's 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock is actually over because we have all the, the leagues coming in at 3. Okay. Right. On weekdays. Yeah. On weekdays at yeah. leagues. So uh, we'll do 130 rounds from 3 o'clock to 5.30. Um, Tuesday, I mean Monday to yeah. Thursday. So you we don't have a league Friday's not? We have one, we have one, one league on Friday. And so I think what is it, like 28 guys or 20 guys? 25. Yeah. yeah. Twenty eight guys. They didn't have the cart. Forty dollars. Forty nine weekday special. Yeah, the cart. Includes the cart. Yeah. That's an understanding. Very interesting. So you okay with this? Yeah, we would just need to propose send this to the selectmen. I usually put a memo through. I tell you, awesome. first we need a, probably a motion yeah. Yeah. to approve the increase on the three mm -hmm. areas that you suggested to a dollar increase. What is the what do we charge for the cost now? It is that um, it's, I think it's at uh, twenty dollars I think, and then there's a dollar tax on it if I'm not mistaken. And that's split in half generally um, we have a lead rate for a cot, which is four dollars. Yeah, yeah, for a cot lead for nine holes. So, you, um, I would say on the weekends it's it's roughly sixty six dollars. Is that competitive? Or that just seems very yeah, inexpensive. I think on the case of um, sending it to the board. Well, the lead rate we've, we've uh, come up with a lead rate. rate to get our regular lead rate, lead rate is, I mean, our non -lead, non lead nine holes is twenty nine dollars. Mm -hmm. okay, so sure we give yeah. a, a yeah. little bit of a break for well, the leagues because they come in big droves. Yeah, because we're not sure. So I think in the case of the board of selectmen, we have to inform them. So, in case they have an objection, I don't have to confirm it. So, we can yeah, I'll make the motion to implement those one dollar increases per day in this recommendation. Let you know. Aye. So I need a memo of data so I can work it into the board. Roger that. You will? Okay. Yeah, I'll work with Dana. Okay. Okay. Sure okay. okay. But I think in this case, all I want is a informing the board. No. You want to vote? They have, they have proof. See, I'm going to this. Well, can you get my okay. All right. <laughs> okay. We got, we got so basically, it's weekday, weekend, and twilight. Right. Now we have all the twilight. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's okay, John. You can pull up a chair. Sit, sit on the floor. Mm -hmm. Golf course, golf course, exempt position. Positions, grade, and determination. Yes, that's the final peg in our region classification. We need to do the evaluation of the exact positions and questions. How do we go about doing that? Um, I recommend that, that I, I, I'm fine with Dana if everybody wants to submit their own grading, but it still needs to go to a grading committee to, for vetting and then a recommendation of where you place them and then a recommendation forward to the Board of Selectmen. And the question would then be, and this is something the classification committee can decide, whether you want to use the town's classification or you want to use the golf course classification. should be the same thing. No, because we created a separate one for the hourly at golf. Okay. Yeah, so okay. we could the create, hours. we yeah. could actually yeah. take a hybrid, you could take the same but the man, thing. I mean the management group. But the Correct. It's up to, again, that's up to the, I would recommend that that be done by the subcommittee. And is that the same subcommittee that's doing it? 
the committee we've talked about for actually in this the same case because it's a recommendation it's a recommendation by the golf committee about how they want to handle classification and how they want to classify it so until it's classified under either the town's plan mm -hmm. or under the golf plan. so if it's going to be classified under the town's plan then it should be the town's classification committee. It should be the same plan. It should be the same, be the same plan. plan. If not, if it's going to be a golf plan, then it needs to be a, a separate committee. But in order to do it as a golf plan, you have to go out and get a bunch of golf course information to make it accurate, because outside of that, you're not doing anything. No. Outside of no, you, manipulating you misunderstand. the data. You misunderstand. This that we created, the wage of classification. Right. For non-union For non-union hourly employees. Hourly employees Correct. created this scale. Correct. The same could be done for those Excuse people me. as part of it, and then it would be the golf course's wage and classification plan and not the town's wage and classification plan. Right, and in order to do that accurately, you would have to conduct the same way, having a third party consultant come out and do it multiple golf courses, see what they no, pay. I sincerely disagree. Well, how is it going to be accurate? Well, the same exact same formula can be followed that's under the wage of classification plan. I don't need to hire somebody to do it. It's not that complex. We've already written the most. The, the hardest part is writing the job description. We already wrote it. So yeah. now it's just a question of doing wage comparison if you want to do that. Wage comparison. That's what I'm right. talking about. That's the wage the whole, comparison the aspect very, of it is, is it. the wage to get the wage right. You can put any number you want in these boxes. Well, the biggest problem that you have with the wage comparison for union, for excuse me, for municipal course versus non-municipal course, there's a real factor involved in that one because our retirement plan is way different than the average for-profit golf course. In addition, so you'd have to look at municipal golf courses, and I think I can count on maybe two hands how many municipal golf courses would be, <clears throat> you know, comparable. It wouldn't be Brookline, you know, it wouldn't be Harwich. It's going to well, be. Well, you'd have to have more than two to come up with an accurate average. Right. It's, it's going to be something be like. But well, this part right. is pretty scientific. I don't think. I don't think that would change. I don't think that would change. And that would get you a grade. That would get you a grade. What What changes is is the competitive market. <coughs> right. Position. But no, I that's, an, that's I another factor. But this is. I think. No, but that's okay. We, we did a bunch of issues. That's fine. We're not. Well, I'm not we're not coming up with I'm, a whole I'm, different I'm, rating manual. We're going to use the same rating. <clears throat> I'm just you trying. Can, you can disagree with the rating. That's fine. That's part of the whole process. I'm just trying to. I use, I'm trying to the uniform the process. Since you, we are a town so, entity. Yes. Then we should be included in the town program. That's that's my concern. That's an argument. To so taking it out of the town's program, you're not really staying uh, uniform not and consistent with the kind of program that you're running. I don't agree with that. You are you are a unique animal. Unique. You're an enterprise account. And you're here to make money. Sure. And right. you know, so many times at these meetings I hear you and Steve speak as though you're a park department and part of the town. You're not. You're an enterprise account fund, and you're here to make money. As is the water and sewer, and they are part of the town. Well, I, I just like well, I don't. I don't either one of those are for profit. Yeah, well, before. and we're an enterprise fund like them. You're for profit. No, you're, no, no, you're not. You're the only the only only stated We were the only similarity is money. water and sewer have to break even. You right. have to do better than break even. One dollar. No. no, no, actually. But we're not putting all this effort into this for them. Well, I'm, 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 I'm not saying that's our overall goal because obviously we've achieved better results than that for the last 20 years. Uh, but what I'm stating is, is yes. that. I don't see why there's an argument with regards to the philosophy of trying to We're having an argument that we could let the subcommittee decide. Well, I don't think that's what we're doing. Okay, I have no problem with including the subcommittee that you and me Ron and Steve are part of. I think that's what we're doing. I think you and me, Roger, whoever you guys want. Well, we've got four positions. We've already we already decided. We've got four positions have to be rated. So the first debate is not just rating the job description, and then the second debate is how do you rate them competitively against yes. the market. So the first argument is let's rate the jobs under the wage and classification guidelines that we have. Then the second argument is what do you compare the wages to? Yeah. So 
I'm willing to say that the wage classification guide that we have is accurate enough to do the work to, to do the grade. What we create for the subset of comparable wages is the argument that we can have as a full board once the rating is done. Take it in small bite-sized pieces. Yeah, we, we, got, we throw all the town positions into this scale, and but we agree, you know, we got to get it done, we got to get it done to the town meeting, but we agreed we've got four positions that we need to come back and think about some more because we're not entirely happy with, you know, either the job either description pay, or the rating or the or, rating or the grade or any of that. Or, or, the, or the grading committee was so far apart in opinion that we reached a certain conclusion and we'll go back later and fix it. So we need to start a committee to do that. So it's not Are you that. talking about the town board? side? The town side. The town side. Okay. So, but I would say the first place I would start is form a subcommittee of the golf committee. Okay, to 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 grade, to rate the position, and to turn, and then to have that argument in the subcommittee about what you're going to compare it against, whether you're going to use a golf plan or you're mm -hmm. going to adopt the town's plan. Okay, then you come back to the committee and say, this is what we've decided, this is our recommendation. Then the golf committee debates it all and then makes its recommendation to the Board of Selectmen for adoption. Weren't these positions covered under the plan? They were, but they did a terrible job. They did, okay. Yeah, well, and in fairness, they're used to rating municipalities yeah, they're and the golf they're not used to okay. rating a golf course. So I would tell you that the you're rating... Consult, you're talking the consultant? The consultant. The consultant. She did a terrible job. The job descriptions were atrocious. On the golf side. Yes. Correct. Okay. Yeah, well, they, they didn't... You know, there's very few, if any, that have, like you said, were a strange animal. Correct. There's very few, if any, that have those type of scale. The only place you could really get them is if you went to the GCSAA or the PGA or the Club Managers Association right. for some form of assistance. So I'm, I'm saying at the moment that I think that we have reasonably good job descriptions because you guys helped us write them. So the grading would be done so on the So the grading job would be done on the job descriptions that we yes. prepared, not the consultant's job descriptions. Then once we've established the grade and just the grade. Not Which we use her criteria. We use her criteria. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the rating. The criteria for the grade, the grade is fine. It's generic. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. You, you did know, it. The only thing that needs to be taken into consideration is the organizational structure. Because right now, I mean, most enterprise accounts and most golf courses have one person in charge. Right. And right now, we don't have one person in charge. We have two managers, my estimation, with nobody in charge. So, a lot of that rating that I put may be lower than what other people may have put with a different structure in mind. Um, because you're not rating a captain, you're rating sergeants. That's well, that's part of the rating. That's part of the rating scale. How many people, how many Again, people this is part here? of the discussion. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, you're responsible for the budget. What do you? Yeah. All of that. Yeah. And if you do a subcommittee, you know, yeah. you're going to have an argument loud and. Yeah. But it might be significantly different if we had a different organization. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you had one chief. I was not. I was just stating an opinion. No, no, no. I, and you need to. That's fine. But I think to be honest, when we go in, when we, we, we need to hammer out how we want to handle this. Mm -hmm. So I'm suggesting rather than the full committee taking its time to do it, come up with a subcommittee that can, can have the, the discussion and hammer out a proposal if we have to do some research on competitive, um, uh, the competitive nature of the physicians. We have some time to do that, but we need to come back and say, okay, because we actually have a COLA that we've been adopted, and anything we could adopt, if it's dramatically different, can always be retro. So I'm not too concerned about that. I didn't realize that you were dissatisfied with the, the third party consultation. I, I have gone through this process several times in, in my professional career, and usually when you hire the third party, they were a qualified company to come in and they assess their accurately and appropriately, mm. right down to the letter. The jobs. The I think that they're very much a qualified firm, but not for a golf no. course. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we, we were not dissatisfied with the product. I, we I just, and I, We hadn't really talked about you know, how it related to the golf course, but otherwise, I think we were pretty happy. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that. I had to. I think you know the the, the and Ed backed me up on this one. I thought their job descriptions were lacking, and I thought their ratings were completely 
off the boom. What kind of adjustments did you make to the to the rates? Were there substantial adjustments to substantial. the rates? Quite, quite, quite a few adjustments. Yeah. yeah. Pick one was 17 or yeah. 19 or... So I'd be delighted. I have the original rating in the study and okay. I have that, so yeah, I can I'm definitely give it to you. Type of yeah. But it was dramatic. Yeah. Okay. And the job descriptions that they gave us were at horrible. At point. Yeah. Okay. So oh. the direct answer to the question, by the way, I've gotten down other calls from other town administrators that have said, you know, what do you think of this company? I said, do you have a golf course? No. Then use them. <laughs> if you have a golf course, find somebody else. And it's and it's a work in progress as well. Both yeah. On your side and the right, but I but I but I believe it's worth it, as, as evidenced by how we came out in the system here. I think we came out pretty good, so I recommend that we continue to do that. Whether the decision of the subcommittee is to adopt it, so we will, did you verify that stuff with Indeed or anything? Yeah, on my I did it with them. M M P A. Yeah, and were they on? Were they on? They were on. Yeah, actually, to be honest, well, I was quite impressed with the fact that we were, we were really close to where we should have been on the municipal side. Mm. We were very happy with where we came out on the municipal side. Well, we were, I'm saying with regards to the golf course. The golf were course? Accurate with regards to the golf course? With what, to the other time, town, to the other town golf with. courses that I could match and said they were pl close enough in volume and size and uh, logistics, it was close enough. But in all sincerity, you know, if you compared us against some of the golf courses down the Cape or Brookline, we didn't. Well, we did. We did discover that there were some positions in the cushion that, that weren't in line with the market. Sure. So we, I mean, that was the result of that study that we looked right. at the positions. Okay. You mean across the, the town? Across the town. Across town. We looked yeah. within the town, the town of the cushion that was paying for some positions, and we decided that that compensation wasn't competitive with the water market. So that did happen as a result of that space. That did happen as a result of that space. And we've got things we need to continue to look at. Right. So I'm perfectly happy to, to, to sit down and, and bat out the, the remaining issues on the golf course. And if it's determined that it should be done under the, the town's grading and classification system by that subcommittee, then that's the recommendation. Right. And that rating committee can take over. If it's decided that, no, it's, it's so unique and it's so different, and it requires additional, uh, you know, extenuating circumstances, whatever you want to call it, then it can be a separate wage classification plan, just like we've done here. And I think, to be honest with you, the work that, that this committee did, and you guys did on the job descriptions, is fantastic. And right on the money. And I'm sure we're going to get, you know, when I, if I put the job descriptions online, I'm sure we're going to get, you know, a million downloads by other towns. But at least then we should copyright it and charge them a fee. A dollar a run. Well, it hasn't, it hasn't been done before. And if you're, the, the difference is I mean, whether you're, you're municipal in the sense of not being an enterprise fund or being one. Right. It's the, in the city of Boston, the two courses there, they're not, they're not enterprise funds. And, but because they're not enterprise funds, they enjoy some perks being associated with a much broader system of getting revenue or getting money. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like you said, you get apples to apples and oranges to oranges. So, um, let me give any, you know, you argue about what an enterprise fund is an enterprise fund, and it's not a problem. Let's take the water and so its goal is to break even. But any profit, if you will, comes that goes into reserves for improvements or redeveloping of the system. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the case of the golf course, we're doing the same thing, going back in, but we're not generating nearly enough money because I can't. You're not a captive customer. I can't. I can. I can't say you must pay externalism. Yeah, correct. You, you live in a cushion, therefore you can only play golf in a cushion, mm -hmm. and you can only buy golf balls from the cushion mm -hmm. river. Right. You know, Valley Cocoa. So I can't restrict you. In other words, and, and you can't go shopping on a water bill. Mm -hmm. Okay. So which is even more of a challenge managing these golf courses. Correct. So that's why you're a wholly different you're you're the same but you are different. You are bound by 30B in procurement, which drives Steve completely mm -hmm. bonkers. But on the other side of the coin you're under the town's um, re uh, retirement program instead of social security. That's another issue. So if we could, Which we can't afford. Yes, I mean, 
you go into a situation that the retirement system would probably be disproportionate to a for-profit golf course. So, I mean, I, that's why I think that there's some there's enough uniqueness that it might warrant being a separate wage of classification. Probably wouldn't be a retirement system at a for-profit golf course. I would imagine that Social Security and maybe a 401. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Well, if you're, I mean, depending on if you're talking private, non-municipal, for-profit. Correct. Yeah, well, they're, they're basically 401ks or, right. bonuses. or, uh, or bonuses or IRAs, Roth IRAs. Or, right. or, there's, there's or there's, no, there's a contribution. There's no, there's no pension plan. plan. There's no pension plan. Well, some depend, well, if you're, if you're big enough and old enough, then you can have shares and profit sharing or something like that. But you and probably it's see it's changed a lot. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, the direct question comes down to and most of those cars are trucks. Trucks are gone. Anyway. <laughs> trucks are gone. You know, or you look Perks at golf course that Manny plays in Florida that are open 12 months of the year. You know, it's a whole different kettle of fish. That's why he goes down there 12 months a year to play golf. I wish. Uh, Soon. Don't get them people misleading. Yeah. <laughs> I was there the night, and Karen ran a great show, so you can retire now. All right. I think so. Ed, when do you want to meet the when the, with the committee? Who's the subcommittee? That's whoever you guys decide the subcommittee is. I volunteered to, jo to join it. I know Roger's looking forward to doing it. How about you and David? I, you might want to include either Dan or Steve. We'll both. Well, you might want to include both. If no, I can't talking. handle both of you at the same time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, boss? Okay with me. So, four you, me, Dana, and Roger. And boss? Don't know. Do you want David? What about David? Well, David. Either one. Okay. Why can't you he said David. Well, we got David on the golf cart, please. Do you want to use Bob? Well, he just said David. Golf cart. He said <laughs> Okay. No, the four of us is fine. Okay. So who's on that? Dana? You got Bob? No. Dana? Mr. Cabal, myself, and... I'll do it, Mr. Hill. Happy to. I'll just okay. be a fan. You can submit your comments in writing. <laughs> we're FaceTime. Okay. Right. We're gonna do it. At, we're gonna do it. Uh, what do you think? When, when do you want to be home for dinner? <laughs> well, you know, I don't. I don't worry about getting home for dinner. I worry about getting my work done. Do we need a motion on that to improve the government? No. Yes. I'll make a motion that um, on the subcommittee for great determination of exempt positions with Mr. Cabal, Mr. Noble, Mr. Brzezinski, and Mr. Weiss. Who's the deciding vote? Second. second. You, you're ready. The All deciding the vote, that's four, two to two. All right. That's yeah. it. It's two to two. Question. <laughs> Are the grades, in, the the grades in question or is the compensation? We have to confirm. The confirm grades. the grades. So that wasn't yes. done already with yeah. this? No. That was, that's just Ed's recommendation. He's only the only one who's graded at his He's, exactly. right. He's right. the only one who's okay. done his homework. And we've, so we've done this, we've done this a few times. We can yes. get through it pretty, we have a pretty good system for doing this. And then so that committee good. then can have well, a we did, we did find that it took, it took some input from the two of us to, and right. then we get, we disagree on a number and we talk about it and then so it's helpful. And I did it with it. Yeah, it's helpful to have I did a it with Manny. Yeah. Okay, fine. And they got it they got it real fast. Yeah. Oh, okay, perfect. Perfect. In fact, you know, Manny's going to town at the entry now. <laughs> okay. All right. So we got that one done. The last one here we have is the Gulf Committee. Rule in a whole and authority. I just, authority. I just gave a handout for the, in our package of uh, the draft that, that Mr. Miller put together. I suggest that we just table that subject until we complete the 
Executive position evaluation. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I might just pursue what I didn't need to wait on another so copy. We're going to be able to. You didn't want to talk about, about it conceptually, yeah. no? Uh, it exactly. Happen. We'll do it out. Then. Well, I, you know, if you want to give me some suggestions, I'll incorporate them into a draft and present it at the next meeting. Uh, I mean, this was just put together so yeah. that I, you know, have a discussion, have some place to start. Okay. But I've, 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 David has given me some feedback which I can incorporate. Mm -hmm. And yeah, mm -hmm. it was, and, and it was good. Um, and, but I'm looking for more meat on the mm -hmm. bone. All right, next thing, next meeting. Okay, you need to come and do blah, blah, blah. Yes. Towards the end of the month, you're going to be running? You're going to be running? 18th of the 25th? Yes. 18th of the 25th? God, we have four. We have them. 18, 4, 11, 18, 25 for Thursdays. Yeah. If you want to remain on Thursdays. 18th. When is Mother's Day? It's on mm -hmm. a Sunday, probably. Yeah, but the, is it Sunday, right? Usually it's the end of school week. vacation. That's school vacation week. Mm -hmm. The 18th is school vacation week. Yeah. So you're only doing it 25th? Yeah, I guess. I might not be able to do that. But I don't know yet. 4.30? Yep. Here again. Here. Right. Yep. Here's fine. It's air conditions. 28. Oh, come on. You don't like 20. 4.30. 4.30. Thing, a couple meetings ago. Thank you. 